Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Now my name that they call Augusta Gold. Thank you when you take stop this morning to watch my video. And my people, the story when I bring for now today, now story we consign EFCC way there for Nigeria. EFCC that they call Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. EFCC for Nigeria. They make and made them for the fight financial crime. We be say not be only Yahoo Yahoo they make EFCC for financial crime. But the one way politicians they do if person do you four one nine you all those kind of things they make them do EFCC. However, EFCC for Nigeria I can't be like saying only Yahoo Yahoo boys then Sabi and only Yahoo Yahoo boys then they run after anything we look like Yahoo. We smell like Yahoo. Even if they see young man with laptop, not be only Yahoo boys, they use laptop. For developed countries, laptop now everybody, now they use them because now internet something. Now, for Nigeria, me here say, the matter, don't say why they hear this thing, though, but this one I need to bring them out. The matter, don't they so bad to the extent saying, EFCC, they bust into hotels. They go break the hotel, enter inside. Then they bust into people's house. They go pass through ceiling, pull their protector, enter their house to go drag the come outside, say they be ESCC, and these people get things to hide. They will collect your phone, collect your laptop, chuku chuku everywhere, every corner. They look for evidence when no near them. So this matter where they go like this, so they go one hotel on the 8th of July, 2022. One hotel for Ikorodu, that they call Aka Hotel, arrest more than 70 people for the place. Carry their moto, carry their phone. Even I hear say, one man went be say, in the chill out with his wife. They drag the man come out with him buses, drag the woman come out with panther bra. Humiliate them, put them for outside, carry them, go for uh, their office. One person will be victim for the matter, whether they call Okun Okun Ika or Ladikbo. In come talk say in come the hotel with two people come chill out. Why then they chill out? Now these people busting. They collecting phone. Collecting phone like this so two phones, one Samsung and one iPhone. Yes, it don't work past Omila for the Ninja. They carry these people come up for the hotel. In fact, make her not talk too much. Make her allow now hear this man and other people for the hotel as they speak about EFCC. Make her listen. Make her judge them by herself. They started going into the hotel, you understand? Or uh, breaking the doors forcefully. The EFCC went as far as being grim, couples naked. Like about 100 and something people were taken with them. Cars were also taken with them staffs that were injured. They even busted my office, pack all the cash I have in my office, up to 200,000 era. The operation was just like when I'm robbers I robbery with two girls. So we are both, uh, we are all sitting down to have our drink. I went to the toilet, so when I came back, I just see people running around. The officer named Olumide came to where I was sitting down upstairs. Then he said, uh, Mr. Man, please respect yourself. So. I told you, yes, yes, I'm respecting myself. I said they are members of the EFCC. Since I don't have anything or oh, any skeleton in my cupboard, then I cooperate with him. He said I should bring my phone. I gave him my phone, uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max and Galaxy A22. So uh, immediately he took my phone and I started doing video. So I followed them downstairs, you understand? So when I got downstairs, I met people that uh people they have uh, or, or other members of the efcc they have started arresting you understand they came with guns they came with guns with sticks you understand so they started telling everybody to lie down on the floor you understand they started going into the hotel you understand or uh, breaking the doors forcefully you understand bringing out people from the rooms uh, there was even there was even a couple in the hotel that they, they, they break their doors where they were sleeping. The, the husband came out with boxers and the wife with bra and pants, you understand? They were hitting people with sticks. Job don't expect ESCC officials to, 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 to raid in such form. What happened on the day the ESCC came was a Friday night. I left work 
and on getting home around 12.30, I was called by staff that EFCC were beating customers, you know, and harassing people, collecting their phones. So on getting here, I realized that, you know, every, every, like about 100 and something people were taken with them. Cars were also taken with them. Staffs that were injured, you know, were here. People that, um, people that were brutalized as well, that were escaped, were back here to pick up their cars. Staffs were also telling me that they were threatened as well by the officials. So I realized that properties were destroyed. Our CCTV camera was also destroyed as well. We're taking with them. Our hard drive was taken with them as well. One of my staff was slapped three times. A girl for that matter. She was slapped three times. One of my managers was slapped that, that she landed in the hospital the next day. They had to take him to the hospital the next day. He couldn't care again after he was assaulted by one of the operatives. They went away with our office phone, which we used in confirming bank alert and her. The experience was a nightmare and an ordeal. People are being brutalized. They, even me, they use stick, they, they hit me with stick. They match me on the head. They are beating people with stick, threatening people with guns. They took cars, people's car, more than 18 cars. They took it away from me. So on Monday, I went to their office, you understand? So when I got there, they said we should wait till 11 o'clock. So they paraded the phones on the floor, on the, on, the, on, the, on the table. They bring out the first bag, my phone was not there. They bring out the second bag, my phone was not there. So they started looking my, for my phone. They said, ah, they have brought out all the bags. They packed people's phone. I said, my phone is not there. My phone is iPhone 13 Pro Max and Galaxy A22. Understand? Because of my agitation. They now invited me to, to their boss office. The woman now told me, he, uh, he now called all the people that came to Ikodu for the raid. I now told, he gave the instruction that they should look for my phone. For 72 hours, they should find my phone. So the phone that they, they say they found, you understand? They now send the video to me. When they send the video to me, it was not my phone. And I told them that this is not my phone. My phone is iPhone 13 Pro Max. And the second one is a Galaxy A22. You understand? The man now begged me that I should give them some time. You understand? The EFCC invasion has really affected the business a lot. We had to let go of 83 staffs because there is no customers to serve them. There is nobody coming in. Everybody is scared. Since the raid, a business that make that that has been doing well, everything is just like. Zero. You don't have saved all labor laws, all what I work for over the years. Just came in a land, I just disrupt everything through the raid. Because now we can't, we can't, we can't even perform averagely. This building run on over 150,000 naira diesel per day. Now the sales is not even up to 100,000 naira. I have to let the staff go. Government that can't even create employment. Is that people are creating employment and? This federal agency are just the one taking the job away from people. They can't give bread and they're taking people's job away. I do, I'm not going against that. Oh, ESCC should not operate, to, you understand? But in carrying out their work, they should be diligent about it, not harassing people with guns, with sticks. I feel if you have any um, doubt about this, this is something that they should have created, done their investigation first giving us an invitation at least to come and prove ourselves as a business that you know we are running a legitimate business than coming in like that and harassing customers flogging customers and actually it was almost like an act of robbery the chairman is a good man of uh, visions and, and integrity so i'm very sure we will do something about it but it was a terrible situation that very night it was horrible so I don't know which of our to use to describe the incident. It's not easy having over 150 staff and paying them every month. It is not easy at all. I haven't breathed my place now. I've been in serious short, serious disarray. I don't I can't even what cannot express outside I am. Because now where do I get money to pay back to pay back all, all my loans, all my facilities? 
please, government should do something and help. And to be an entrepreneur is not easy in this country. This way alone is 800 and something thousand, 800 and something naira per liter. It's not easy to run a business. I'm, I'm really, really terrified. For this country, Nigeria, only we now go use our tongue, take count our seats. Work, government, not they give. People for the society go create work. Government go come out and for their hand. Make life difficult for people. Make living in the country very hard and difficult for the people. Give me one reason why this man no go want to sell in property and move abroad. Just give me one reason. Tomorrow they go say make we stay in Nigeria, make we build Nigeria. How you want it one? When the powers that be, the frustrate person. See I'm now, when I see I'm with you now. Make una judge him by ourselves. What are waiting these people they do? A good, a be bad. Now so I go talk and reach for this video. Make una enjoy ourselves. Make una have a nice day. Una bye bye for now. We go meet body again for front. For now, make una take him easy. Una bye bye.